Good day everyone, welcome once again to my channel, Great Check. And once again this is Jerry and uh, we are still continuing with our series on exploring some of the beautiful features of Windows 10. And wherein if we all know this, it would keep us from facing some hassles and bustles while we are using Windows 10. And uh, if you are new to my channel, you can just uh, click your subscribe button and your notification bell so that you will be notified if I have once again another videos uploaded to my channel. And we, since we have a bunch of series on exploring our Windows 10. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, talking about one of the features also of uh, Windows 10, which is... Uh, it's not only Windows 10, but some other operating system also of Windows. It's a user account control settings. So user account control settings could notify you if there is potentially harmful programs which try to make changes to your PC. And you can choose when to be notified about changes to your computer through changing its settings. So um, I will show you the ways on how to uh, explore especially on uh, making changes to use your user account control settings because this would also help you to um, be protected from um, having some problems in the future while you're using your uh, Windows 10 or some other operating system with Windows and uh, I will show you as what I said user account control settings how to uh, find them you can there are two ways to uh, find the user account control setting the first one is uh, just click this part here this is a an explorer file explorer so it's a folder the icon is a folder and uh, just click this PC and uh, right click this part here any part any white uh, any part of these white areas right click that one and then click properties and if you see this uh, bottom left corner of your screen of this uh, system window there's a security and maintenance and then click that one and you can see this part here change user account control settings so when you click that one then you have this so before I continue with that, I will uh, show you another way and uh, this is uh, it. And uh, this one, just type here, control panel, control panel and then click. And then you have the system and security and uh, of course security and maintenance. And you have this, once again, you will be dropped to this uh, window and uh, when you click that one when you click this part here and this window window will be displayed and there are if you see this um, if you see this uh, scale you can just slide this one up or down blah 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 if you scale this one if you uh, put the always notify this uh, highest scale uh, so you have the message always notify me when an app or apps try to install software or make changes to my computer or it can also make uh, notif notify me always notify me when I make changes to Windows settings so uh, this is the best one and this is the be best one to choose because you will be notified if an, if an app tries to install software or make changes to the computer or when you make or we make changes to our Windows settings so this is recommended if you routinely install new software and visit unfamiliar websites so um, this is the best one because you will be notified if you visit unfamiliar websites and install if you install new software to your computer so the, your computer will be notified your computer will notify you what changes you make you know, or you will you allow this to make changes to your computer and that's it and this is really recommendable 
and the second one is if you slide this scale here down then you have this notify me only when apps try to make changes to my computer so this is the default one and then don't notify me when I make changes to Windows settings so uh, uh, the only thing that you will be notified when apps try to make changes to your computer and uh, but when you make changes to your Windows settings you will not you don't need to be notified and recommended if you use familiar apps if the apps that you're using are familiar and the, vis uh, the, the website that you visited uh, are familiar too so this is a good one also and um, the third one is uh, this part here notify me only when apps try to make changes to my computer do not dim my desktop so don't notify me when I make changes to Windows uh, settings so it's not recommended because choose this only if it takes a long time to dim the desktop on your computer so this part here is uh, you don't need to be notified uh, you choose that the computer will tell you uh, you're telling the computer not to notify you when you make changes to Windows settings you know, but this that's not recommended much more this one is not really recommended because never notify me when apps try to install software or make changes to my computer and uh, if I make changes to Windows settings don't notify me this is what it says and it is not recommended because uh, there are uh, like apps that uh, could change to your computer if uh, um, there are sometimes uh, potentially harmful programs try to make changes to your computer that you don't uh, you don't want or uh, there are applications or softwares that sometimes just automatically install to your computer without your knowing without giving you information without notifying you so um, this user account control settings would help you so that you will be notified especially when there are probably harmful applications or harmful programs that uh, try to make changes to your computer but um, if you use this one the user account control settings if you put this into always notify me when so this is the highest one and this is this is not uh, also good because uh, any small changes that you make to your computer you will be notified and this is sometimes an annoying uh, choice but if you have this one here so you don't need to be notified if only uh, make changes to your Windows uh, settings but if this one this is annoying because even apps that you want to install even though you know it but still you will be notified to uh, anyway this is a good one also especially for no uh, new uh, new base or um, those novices or those who are, who are new who are not um, really familiar with the uh, computer especially those who are just new to uh, using um, computer so this one is a good one but if you are new of course uh, but if you are if you already uh, take it so this is the best one because if you know the, uh, what you're making or you what changes you make to your uh, Windows settings or your operating system so you don't need to be notified but if you are new this is the best one so that you will be notified and there will be no changes unless you make your own uh, choice to allow to install the software and may or make changes to your computer and even Windows settings sometimes accidentally you make changes to your Windows settings so you need to be um, notified so that's it and uh, just choose which ones best for you and uh, be careful because uh, if uh, you, uh, you choose this one then there are potentially harmful programs that could uh, make changes to your computer so um, uh, this one and uh, I would recommend it as Windows also Windows 10 recommended this one too and also the third one and the fourth one this one so um, if you are done making your choice and then you can click ok and uh, if you click ok then use account
control settings you'll be uh, verified and you'll be notified also do you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and that's it this is one of the examples when your when your um uh, your user account control settings when you change or you make changes to your user account control settings so this is what you will um, see and this is a good one because you will be notified and you have your own choice which one which is better for you according to how you understand the uh, message that uh, is seen here and what those uh, applications or programs make changes in computer so if uh, you click yes and there, then what is uh, cho chosen here will be what will be the user account control settings for um, your computer and you have to make this one also this can help you so that you will not have some problems that you may encounter in the future while using your Windows uh, 10 or Windows whatever uh, operating system of Windows you are using so same um, that's it so um, so that's it and hopefully that uh, through this video you learn something also that this would also help or make us be aware and be um, something uh, we could also appreciate we understand that uh, the operating system that we are using so um, till next video and if you haven't subscribed yet and um, please click your subscribe button and your notification bell too so that you will be notified if I have new again uh, videos uploaded to my channel so uh, click like also and please share thank you and bye bye everyone thanks for watching god bless us all